What is going on, everybody? Today, it's your boy Frog Splash here. Uh, so, I'm pretty much finished with Subnautica. I think I beat the game. I am ready to uh, launch off that up there. But before I do, I just want to take you guys along. Show you Welcome aboard, Captain. Everything I've uh, made so far. Welcome aboard, Captain. Just like how my base has been uh, built, how I put it together, etc., etc. Real quick, uh, for this, I had some of these upgrades here. Just what I thought was necessary. I made this so I can uh, put upgrades in, into him. All these stuff here, these are for, uh, you know, items, ingredients, material, stuff I needed along my journey. Yeah, and then this is what you make, uh, if you haven't put it, you just, you know, put the ingredients in here and then you make something, make stuff from there. Uh, buy a reactor. Water, trash can. This was my room. These fishes were used for the bioreactor since they have so much energy. Uh, these are bladders. Uh, initially, I used them to get water, but then I realized uh, you can make a whole bunch more water using salt and. Uh, Apparently bleach, you can get water from bleach. So salt and one coral tube sample. And then boom, you get two waters. There we go. Easy peasy, lemon my squeezy. All right, and then we go here. These were my main uh, form of food. of monsters I came across, took their eggs, and then ran for my life. Yeah, it's pretty, uh, it was a really, really fun game. Definitely one of the best games I've played in my whole life. Up here I had my little farm. These uh, stuff here, I found uh, in certain locations around the map, uh, they were hard to get to, so I was like, ah, well, I'll just get them and plant them in my and my base so I can get them as fast as I can. Floor panels on top. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Now I'm ready. I'm ready. So I have put beacons there uh, of certain locations around the map. That was my starting location over there. And this is what you call a cyclops. Uh, I took this all the way to the deepest parts of the of the ocean. Well, protected me Captain. every all single time. The Nothing there. It was pretty cool. It was honestly really cool. You get a engine just show you. Powering up. What's cool is engine powering up. You go pretty slow. Rig for silent run. And then you have like all the inside is all red and everything. Pretty cool. Another bed in here. If I was away for a long period of time, food and water in here. More ingredients. And whatever like ship I had, like my exo I can bring in here. Uh, my other sea moth I can bring in here as well. Take it with me wherever I go. I don't know why I'm doing this, but yeah. 
And then here I can upgrade my Sima, or uh, sorry, my Cyclops. Yeah. Pretty legit. This was just like the fast. Uh, just a fast show and tell today. Actually, it's starting to get dark. I'm gonna actually uh, go to sleep in my base. So I can wake up in the morning and then uh, launch. All right, there we go. So yeah, this base uh, really the way it's laid out, really, really, really helpful. Uh, where's my Seamoth? Where the hell's my Seamoth? One second, one second. Where the hell is my Seamoth? Seamoth. Did it get wrecked? I think, I got, I think it got wrecked. Wait. There, wow. Welcome aboard, Captain. And then that's the rocket ship that I'm about to take off in. But before I do, I'm just gonna show you what else. Like. Bring something in here. Oh, and uh, don't mind the crappy driving. Really, really fun, well-made game. To be honest with you, uh, if it starts like, if I start getting attacked by uh, enemy monsters or something, definitely, uh, really, really exciting, really fun, intense, a lot of stressful moments too. But you know, it's a really, really, really fun game. If you haven't tried it already, I would definitely suggest it. Uh, yeah. Let's get out of here. Everything's ready. 